We've got three main styles of tricycle rear ends, whether they're complete frame or whether they're a tricycle adaption, like this one here. This is a bolt-on tricycle rear end. This is actually the tab for the original e-brake. It was a lever here, and it had a tab that would sit down on the back wheel to hold it from rolling away. But I have a kickstand to do that purpose for me. On the way these work, uh, from the sprocket, it runs straight back to this sprocket here. And it's got an axle shaft that runs from here all the way back to this axle. So basically, when you turn this sprocket, the, the crank moves. On the other side, it's just a dummy side. It takes a regular front wheel. So the only, the only thing you need to adapt a bicycle into a tricycle would be this back end and an extra front wheel then you got a tricycle. They're pretty universal as these big tabs here and they just bolt right onto the drop-offs there. Another style back end would be the differential style. This one has two drive shafts in the center. It's laced on for 20 inch wheels. It's actually a 24 inch back end but I convert it to a 20 and they would have a differential that rides in the middle just like a car and, but instead of a uh, drive shaft turning a yoke turning a ring and pinion gear to the differential it's just chained straight to the differential I'm rebuilding this one I don't want to see the bangs and everything need to be replaced and then the, the other style back in would be like this one where it actually has uh, from the crank back it'll come back to a, a center hub is what I call it. I don't know what the exact term it is, but uh, this is a coaster brake hub. It's basically uh, the back wheel of a bicycle without all the spokes taken uh, in it and then a sprocket welded on. This one's custom made just for this tricycle. Uh, and that would turn a solid shaft. This, dry sh or this axle shaft uh, will have an, a wheel on each end of it. This is the dummy side and this is the drive wheel side. This flange has these bolts that pop out and go into uh, the actual hub of the bicycle wheel that goes on here. And then on this side, there's no flange, but there's sealed bearings between the hub and the axle. So when the shaft turns, the wheel can spin around it without having any resistance. That way, it's one wheel drive, just like this one would be one wheel drive, but then the uh, differential style would be actually two-wheel drive. There's advantages and disadvantages to both, but those are the three main styles of tricycle rear ends. Uh, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Thanks.